And let's go to Warsaw, where we can speak to Michal Bananowski. He's a senior fellow at the German Marshall Fund and an expert on Polish-U.S. relations. Michal, it's good to have you with us here on DW. So the Pentagon has rejected this Polish offer. Is it still on the table? As far as I know, that nothing changed since really the offer was put, was put on the table last night by the Polish government. Um, there is clearly some level of miscommunication around this uh, this potential agreement. On one hand, uh, Poland was surprised by the words of Secretary of State uh, Tony Blinken when he when he said that that U.S. Uh, green lights uh, exchange of planes. Sort of Poland gives MiGs and receives F-16s. On the other hand, American administration, uh, State Department and later Pentagon seem uh, uh, surprised and not consulted on the, on the agreement or the deal put on the table by the Polish government. So there is a level of misunderstanding here. Just to clarify this, what do you think uh, led to this misunderstanding? What is the, the miscommunication? The reason why we are seeing this bit of a diplomatic mess is that um, Warsaw felt that uh, it was under pressure from the American side. I can I, I, I can speak for my uh, government and think tank colleagues. Uh, this uh, this idea of passing on of a mix to Ukraine is potentially very important one and valuable for for Ukraine. But here in Warsaw, there is a very clear consensus that Poland should not be doing this alone, that we should be doing this as a part of the alliance. And there was a perception, at least, of a uh, of a public pressure coming rather than having a behind the scenes consultations. OK, so if Poland thinks this is an important step, what would the next move be? How could these uh, jets still get to the Ukrainian Air Force? Frankly, in, in my view and in the view of, of many here, this really needs to be a, an alliance decision. This has to be a NATO decision, not Warsaw's decision, not something done only in bilateral consultations between Washington and Warsaw. Uh, responsibility and the decision has to be taken at the at the uh, 30 of allies because Russia made it pretty clear that it will see uh, that kind of weapons um, so so fighter jets as a as a step up uh, perhaps of a level of escalation when it comes to uh, help to Ukraine and might want to retaliate we here on the eastern flank just cannot strategically afford to be separate from the rest of the alliance uh, on this issue. That's why we need but, to do it uh, as a whole. Okay, Michal, but if there is retaliation from Russia against NATO, Poland would also be affected. So isn't it uh, still a concern that Russia would interpret this as a direct intervention? Yes, there is, a, there is this concern. Uh, this concern has to be weighted against the dramatic pictures and situation that we are seeing in Ukraine. Um, again, this is not, um, civilians are dying, uh, Russian forces are indiscriminately bombing uh, Ukrainian cities. Therefore, there is a responsibility also on us as the West to help them. And this is another step. This is not something that we have never done before. We have delivered javelins and uh, both anti-tank and anti-aircraft uh, weapons. This would be certainly a step up. We would have to see how uh, Russia reacts. Mm -hmm. But this risk, in my view, is worth taking given the suffering in Ukraine. You say it's a decision that has to be reached by the alliance. The UK Defense Secretary Ben Wallace has backed this offer. Do you expect that other, other NATO members will now back it as well? Well, frankly, I know that there is a level of um, well, disagreement or, 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 or discussion that is still being had uh, in, the, in the headquarters. There are some of our Western European allies who worry that this would be uh, a step too far, an escalatory step that could be met with uh, Russian retaliation. And as we know, uh, President Putin or Vladimir Putin, I would rather say, mentioned use of nuclear weapons uh, a few times. Um, I would not equate this. 
but basically uh, we still have ways to go and it will have to be the United States as a leader of the alliance to make sure that the rest of the allies are okay with this idea as well. All right, interesting perspective there from Mikhail Bananovsky joining us from Warsaw. Thank you. Thank you very much.